In this video, we'll find the area under a curve defined parametrically. Recall that the area under a curve y equals p of x defined in usual Cartesian coordinates is just the integral from x equals a to x equals b of y dx, or in other words, the integral from a to b of p of x dx. If instead the curve is given by the parametric equations x equals f of t and y equals g of t, the area is still going to be the integral of y dx, but now y can be written as g of t and dx is going to be f prime of t dt using differential notation. Therefore, the area is going to be the integral of g of t f prime of t dt. And since we're integrating with respect to t now, our bounds of integration have to also be t values. I'll still call them a and b, but I want them to represent t values here. It's important to note that this is still the area under a curve. In other words, in between the curve and the x-axis. Let's use this formula to find the area enclosed by this Lissajous figure given by these equations. By symmetry, it's enough to compute the area under one segment of the Lissajous curve and then multiply that area, which I'll call a, by 4. Now a is equal to the integral of y dx, and using our parametric equations, we know that y is sine of 2t and dx is the derivative of cosine, so that's negative sine of t dt. The rightmost point of the section of curve that we're interested in, right here, happens when x is 1 and y equals 0. It's easy to check that that occurs when t equals 0. The leftmost point of the section of curve occurs when x and y are both 0. Setting both our equations equal to 0 and solving for t, we see this happens when t is pi over 2 plus any multiple of pi. So the first time we reach this point after the t value of 0 is when t is simply pi over 2. So we'll set our bounds of integration as from t equals 0 to t equals pi over 2. Plugging this information into our equation, we get that the area is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine of 2t times negative sine of t dt. Let's pull the negative sign out and use the double angle formula to rewrite sine of 2t as 2 sine t cosine t, multiply that by the sine t dt. We can pull the 2 out and rewrite this as sine squared of t cosine t dt, and then a u substitution will allow us to compute the integral. We get negative 2 times the integral from u equals 0 to 1 of u squared du, which integrates to negative 2 u cubed over 3 evaluated between 1 and 0, which is negative 2 thirds. Notice I get a negative answer here, and that's because I accidentally integrated from right endpoint to the left endpoint instead of from the left to the right. I accidentally followed the t values in increasing order when I should have integrated in the other order in order to make the x values in increasing order. In any case, I can correct this by switching my bounds of integration or more quickly just by sticking a negative sign in front and changing my sign. Now I can figure out the total area inside the Lissajou figure just by multiplying by 4. In this video, we saw that the area underneath a curve 
given in parametric equations is given by the integral of y dx, which if x is f of t and y is g of t, this is just the integral of g of t times f prime of t dt. Our bounds of integration need to be t values.